Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how to embed a Google Form that has file upload. So I'm in this course, going to go into Edit, turn editing on. I'm using Advisor theme, turn editing on, and that's why it may look different. This is uh, Moodle 3.9. It's going point two. It's going to be 3.10 in um, a few minutes or later on today. So I'm going to go into add an activity or resource. Okay, so let's click on that. Let me know what activity you'd like to use it with. I'm going to use it as a resource, but if you want to use it as an activity, as a label, you can use it as a, of course, URL, page, and so on. But if you'd like to use it as an activity in a discussion form, and so on. It could be done, but not in the um, replies because um, your Moodle is probably just like mine, not enabled for embed codes, even if it's iframe. So let's go into the resources and label. As I said, you can also add it as a link. All right, so let's go into the embed, which is right here. And then we're going to click. Now notice it does open up, okay, before you save it. So here it is. And you need to click on fill in the form to be able to go there. And this is just to show you that it's at file. So let's go back. Okay, so we're back here. Let's uh, save it. Save. Okay, so notice it's right here under the embed, and they will need to fill in, fill out the form by clicking over here. But you can add the form to your Moodle site. Okay, this is on the label. Let's continue here and go to another activity. Let's go back here to the course. And this time we're going to go into add an activity. We're going to add an activity. <laughs> okay, so let's go into discussion. All right, over here, click on it. As I said, this is Edwiser, and that's why it may look different from yours. We'll give it a name, and that's embed Google form with upload file. All right, just to have something. Okay, so now we're going to add it to the description. So let's go into the HTML over here, click on it, and then let's add it. Okay, there we go. Let's check that it's there. It should be there. There it is. We'll display, sorry, display the description. There we go. And then save. Okay, so we're now on the discussion, and there you can see it. Okay, over here under the discussion. Okay, where else would you like to add it? Okay, let me know uh, if you'd like to add it anywhere else or if there's anything else you'd like. All right, so let's go back to the course and let's add it as a reply to this. Okay, so let's go into the discussion over here and we want to reply. Okay, add a new discussion topic. Okay, add here test. Go to the HTML. Now look what happens when you try to add it. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Okay, notice it appears. Okay, there we are. Now we're going to post it. Go back to it. There's a lot of stuff here under test. And notice what happens. It will not appear. In other words, this will not work in the replies or if you want to add it in the discussion form only in labels or anything that goes beyond that all right so let's go back this time we're going to add it as a link okay so let's go back to the course and our i'm going to delete all of this of course you realize that okay, i'm just using this to show you you can do the same by the way if you want to share what you've done and you have questions about what you see. 
All right, so this time we're going to go into resources again, and we're going to add, notice our options here, we're going to add a URL. Okay, now what I did was, actually, this is how I got around to things. I added the embed here. Okay, but let's take the link. Notice the link is up to here without the embed. So let me add it here, the external link. Here I'm going to add, you know, just something. Fill in the form. Okay, and then um, let's save and display. And notice, okay, we've got the link over here. We can, and we also have the form. Okay, so that's another way of doing it. Okay, so they can go both ways. And if they, let's go back here. If they go over here and click on fill out form, okay, they'll be able to get to the same link. And that's why the label is a lot better, or you can create a page which is like a label. All right, and then they're taken to the form. And if they leave the form, they'll be back on the Moodle because it's, um, it opens up a new window, a new browser window, which is great. All right. Uh, subscribe and feel free to ask questions in the comment box and I'll be happy to share whatever I know and I know quite a bit so your questions are great. I don't know what I know until you ask those questions so keep them coming and every question is brilliant so don't be afraid to ask. Ask. Thank you and have a great day.